Now, catching a ride has become a breeze with the introduction of e-hailing services, but tensions are brewing between the drivers and app companies. In a move to avoid another strike, Gauteng Transport MEC Jacob Mamabolo has intervened. He joins me now live. MEC, thanks for your time. So let's talk about the discontent in this industry. You have di drivers who are saying they're being ripped off by these app companies. You've intervened. Is there any solution right now, or are you still negotiating? Firstly, good afternoon to you, to all the view, to all the viewers, um, and let me thank you very much. Yesterday, uh, up to you know early hours of the evening, we have been holding uh, very good uh, discussions with the uh, um, uh, e-hailing companies on the one hand, and uh, their driver partners, and the e-hailing companies are Uber and Bolt. The discussions were very successful in the sense that um, the parties have all agreed that uh, they need to enter a formalized um, negotiation process in which an independent mediator will facilitate and reduce to writing with a very clear report uh, bringing together areas of agreement, areas of uh, difference, and uh, that certainly should be able to take the parties two steps forward. And uh, this process will take place, uh, it's allocated strictly uh, one month. Uh, in other words, by the end of April, mm. we will be able to know whether the parties have found a mutually beneficial agreement but uh, I consider um, the agreement to enter into a negotiated settlement through a mediator to be a major breakthrough. And I'm quite sure that uh, it brings a very important development in the dispute that has been going on for many years with nothing concrete to show at this point. Yeah. Do you believe, given the rates that these drivers are getting from these uh, companies, that they are being ripped off, though? Because it needs to be in line with our labor laws, doesn't it? It can't just be a blanket percentage when it comes to what drivers get versus what the company gets. So just uh, maybe a quick clarity on the matter. The, the drivers are considered as partners and not employees. But uh, just on your question, I think the issue there and the grievance is that the current business model and the current uh, partnership, as they call it, uh, according to the driver partners, they are working at huge financial losses. It is not profitable to them. And uh, remember that they are basically the suppliers of the vehicle and the service that goes with it to transport um, riders or commuters. So they believe that the model is not working for them. And they attribute that to um, the way, uh, you know, decisions are made. When new products and solutions are introduced, they say that they are not being properly or even consulted at all. And uh, to that extent, I think um, the um, the negotiated process should be able to thoroughly interrogate and assist the parties to appreciate the pricing model and its impact on home take or the revenue that um, uh, the Uber drivers are expected to take. At the moment, it definitely seems there is a problem with the entire design of the uh, operating, um, you know, costs. Uh, pricing, and finally the home take of the drivers. So yeah. that I believe, when I listen to the parties, and I don't want to preempt or be prejudicial the negotiated settlement, when I listen to the parties and what they are saying, and the fact that they value and appreciate each other as business partners, I believe pricing costs are very objective issues. Whether people are making a profit or not, it should be scientifically determined, 
I think it's a matter they can find each other. Or. Yeah. And very quickly, this is a question that many people who use Uber and Bolt will want to know. Have they agreed to uh, suspend their protest action pending this mediation? You know, the most groundbreaking part for me and for the residents of our province, I would like to assure them that the meeting yesterday and, of course, the other meeting we had a week before, have removed from our highways, our freeways, from the streets, uh, the protest that has really been a source of frustration and pain to our motorists and the road users. So we have successfully managed through this process, and I'm quite sure this will be sustainable, to take the conflict away from the streets with a huge negative impact on uh, road usage. And we have now managed to bring it to a formalized table and I think to the residents of Gauteng, to uh, uh, people who use these uh, e-hailing services to public transport, I think we are guaranteed smart mobility, uninterrupted movement, because we know when the Uber drivers protest, we know what it does, yeah. particularly on the main routes leading to uh, key economic and commercial sites. So that is out of the way, and uh, this should definitely put a big smile on the residents of our province, and they can drive and go to their destinations or to whatever points they're going to, knowing that they will not be disrupted on the roads and the highways. All right, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Gauteng Roads and Transport MEC Jacob Mamabolo.